All right, Trevor, what game we playing today? Robo Rally. Ooh, sweet. Do you like Robo Rally? I do. It's a fun game. And why? Because I always win. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only reason? No. It's also fun because of all the chaos that goes on. Just and all. all the fun that all the players have while they're playing, even if they die. <laughs> even if they die, when they die. Well, sweet. That looks pretty cool. Well, what's Robo Rally all about? Robo Rally is about getting to these checkpoints in order. Okay. And the first person to get to all the checkpoints in order wins. Well, sweet. That sounds pretty simple. Yeah, and then you'll notice everything else on the board, and then you will change your opinion. Oh, and is it just the same board every time? No, there are multiple boards. There's a back side to this board. There are double sides to all these boards. Ooh, a lot of different maps. And the rule book right here has got a bunch of different scenarios you can set up depending on how many players you have, what length of game you want, where to set the checkpoints, etc. Stuff like that. Oh man, so much to explore. We've hardly even scratched the surface, huh? Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, why don't you tell me how you play? Alright, so after everybody has chosen their robot, everyone has dealt nine cards at the start of the game. Two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, do you show everybody your cards? No. But what do they look like? These cards are for you and your eyes alone. Okay. After everyone has been dealt their nine cards, you flip them over all at the same time. So everyone has an even amount to look at their cards. Flip them over They'll just to be, look at them. Right. So some will be rotates, U-turns, some will be moves, move ones, there's backups, um, another backup. So there's move cards, rotate cards, and okay. yeah, that's basically Sweet. it. What you do is you can choose five of these cards and you program them into your bot's register, com register computer, or whatever. Okay. So what you do is you take a look at where your bot is and there will be... Um, at the start of the game, everyone will start at like one, two, three, four, depending on how many players there are. And right. so I'm right here. Okay. And I'll say, okay, I need to get to this flag. Which of these cards will help me get there the quickest? And then I'll just say, okay, um, I'll need a lot of move cards. And you put them face down. And once everyone has programmed their robot. Yep. Everyone except one person, you flip this timer. That leaves the last person with a time limit to program their robot. If they don't program their robot before the time runs out, someone takes their cards and randomly fills the rest of their registers. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. All right, so now they're filled. So I don't know what these last ones were, but I believe um, this, these first couple were a move. So, after everyone's programmed and all that, you flip over your first register and you do Simultaneously, it. right? So yeah, I move two. We'll say this one moves one. And you move um, the place that your robot is facing. So, uh, nice little say this one rotates arrow. and this one moves one. Okay. Now what happens is the conveyor belts move, the cogs turn, and lasers fire. Each robot wow. has a laser. And the laser shoots the way the robot is facing. So this robot shoots this way, this robot shoots this way, and this robot shoots this way. But this robot, since he rotated, will shoot that way at this robot. What yes. happens to this robot is he takes a damage. And when you take a damage, it's this yellow thing. Okay. And you put it right here. The more damage you take, the less cards you'll get on your turn. So you won't get nine. If you had five damage, you're only going to get four cards. Mm-hmm. So, um, the amount of cards is determined by how many of these are free. So this person would only get three cards on his next turn. In addition, these lock things now lock these registers and he can't clear them out at the end of his turn. So every time he's going to do those same moves. Mm -hmm. So, we'll say so that... damage is bad. Yeah, you don't want damage. If you get to here, you're dead and you lose a life. If you lose all your life tokens, you're out of the game. Okay, sweet. But you can reclaim some of your damage. Yes, you can. If you end one of your register movements, or, um, no. If you end your whole turn on a wrench, or a wrench and hammer, you get to take off a damage token. Nice. Or you can power down. Right, or you can power down. But that's announced at the start of your turn. 
So you say, after you've programmed your register, you say, I'm powering down next turn. You complete your register, and you take a power down token, and you put it here. And that means you skip your next turn, but you get to clear all your damage. Nice. And then you just sit there and... And you sit there and hope nobody shoots you. Okay, so there are ways to recover, but nonetheless, this guy just got shot. Yes. So now we'll go a little bit farther into the game and come back when there's more things going on. Okay. So, once everyone's programmed, like everyone has done, everyone flips over their first card. So, we have these registers. And... Everyone will make their movement. However, if a movement would cause a robot to collide with another robot, they look at these numbers up here. My movement is a move three, and I would run into this guy. So we see who will move first. I have an 840, and his is a move one at a 500. The higher number moves first. So I get to move first and push him. Ooh. So whereas he thought he was going to move ahead when one. he thought he was going to go here, I actually push him one, two, three into here, then he moves one, and he is now not where he wants to be. Oh, absolutely. What happened to the other guys? Now, this one, let's see, he's Twitch. Unfortunately, he is pretty locked. He's going to rotate left. That'll move at the end of the register phase, and then Hammerbot will move one. Now the conveyor belts and cogs move and so, the lasers fire. So that's what all this is. So these will tell you what happens at the end of each register phase. Yeah? Right. Okay, so first of all, express conveyor belts move one space. There we go. Now normal conveyor belts move one space. So these blue conveyor belts move two. As That's why there's two arrows. Since he turned, his bot turned. Nice. The conveyor belt okay. turns him. Now the cogs fire, or not the cogs rotate, so it rotates in the direction of the arrow. And then lasers fire. That's all the robot lasers and the red lasers. Since there's two lasers, this poor guy got hit twice and he takes two damage. Let's see, he's hammerbot, so he'll take two damage tokens. And now that he's not where he wants to be, he will most likely be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. All right, what's the next phase? Next, we'll have a rotate left for him. He yep. rotates right, and he'll just be moved right back. Uh, the twitch will rotate left, and then Hammerbot <laughs> U-turns. Oh, even better. Okay, okay so conveyor so, belts. Conveyor belts move, again it turns him, the cogs turn, and then lasers fire, and he gets hit twice more. Not doing so well. Now you'll notice we're getting into some locked. Twitch had an unfortunate hand and all of his cards are rotate, and it looks like he's headed for destruction. <laughs> so now that these registers are locked, he can't do anything about it, and that does it every time unless he chooses to power down. Mm. Ouch. So, we go on to register three. I move one. Spinbot will rotate right. <laughs> He's just spinning. Poor guy. He will rotate right. And then Hammerbot will move two. Still in those darn lasers. That's what happens when someone pushes you. It usually messes up your whole turn and even kills you sometimes. Yeah, with those moves, he was actually going to be doing pretty good, getting close to the first flag. But because he got bumped, he is, he's host. Yeah. All right, all the movement. <laughs> all right, so conveyor belts move, cogs move, lasers fire. Bam, bam. He's about damaged out. Yeah. One more turn in those lasers, and he will be destroyed. Let's find out if he stays there. Now, fourth, move two. Um, Spinbot backs up, Ooh. so he's finally off of his cog. Rotate right, twitch. And then Hammerbot moves one. Yep. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so now what just happens? Hammerbot takes three hits because of that guy. But first of all, conveyor this conveyor belts. belt moves him off the edge of the board, and so he takes one life off of his sheet. And the next turn, when you come in after being yeah. uh, destroyed, 
you take two damage. Or he could come back in powered down and skip. In a turn. which case he would skip his next turn, but he would remove all of his damage. So and then where does he restart? When a robot is destroyed, he's restarted at his archive token, wherever it is. Your archive token is automatically placed where you start, but if you end any register phase on a wrench, then like this is a wrench, this is a wrench. This is considered a wrench. Mm -hmm. If you end any of your register phases on a wrench, you will move your archive token to that spot. Okay. You, but the wrench only heals a damage if you end your whole turn on it. Okay. So Twitch will be restarting here when he comes back. But it looks like a couple people have already made it to the first flag. Yeah, so though they, if they if were they ever die, destroyed, they, they would come start back, back there. there. Cool. So... Lasers fire two here, but also a third one here. Not that it would take any more to kill him, but he and he's out. is out. He loses a life. So, bam. He's out, and his archive token is right here. So when he comes back, he'll be on that spot. And he can face himself any direction he wants. So that is basically Whew. the madness of this game, and it gets even better with more players. Yeah, you can play up to eight players with this. Oh man, chaos. It is awesome. <laughs> so then Trevor, what would you say overall for Robo Rally? What would you give it? I would give it a 4.5. Ah, and do you like playing with more or less people? I like playing with more people because it gives a lot more chaos and a lot more elements going on and a lot of uncertainty and I win. <laughs> <laughs> and you win. Yeah, it's that whole chaos of having to pre-program and not knowing what's going to happen to you from everybody else. So. Well, sweet. Well, there is Robo Rally. Have at it. Thanks, Trev. You bet.